Starting Tuesday, the state starts accepting applications for hunting tags to seek out alligators here in Pelahatchie Bay, an area where they say that population has grown too large. In Glen Cove on the reservoir, Brent Powell says his home on the water has become an alligator haven in the summer. The state has sent in private trappers before. They're pretty bad. At any given day in the summertime, you can see probably four or five easy. A lot of gators, way overpopulated. At the Pelahatchie Trading Post, it seems almost everyone has a story about there being too many alligators in this section of the reservoir. I don't know that they're issuing enough tags um, right now for Pelahatchie Bay, but... You think they should take more out? I do. Um, I, I, last I heard, uh, the Ross Barnett was the second most populated lake in the state. The State Department of Wildlife and Fisheries is beginning its first ever alligator hunting season for Pelahatchie Bay. The permit applications start Tuesday. 24 permit holders will be allowed to harvest a maximum of 48 gators, two for each hunter. It's just to the point where we should be able to allow the hunters the opportunity to go in there and harvest some of these alligators in a recreational hunt. Uh, before we had to take matters into our own hands. Alligator program coordinator Ricky Flint says gators have taken pets and gotten far too close to people in their homes lately. But he says the state is taking a measured approach in this first recreational hunting season that kicks off in May. We get uh, nuisance complaint calls within about a five mile stretch uh, during the peak weeks of the summer. Uh, we may get half a dozen calls a day uh, in that general vicinity and that is for the most part, occurring because of the reproduction that occurs right there on Pelahatchie Bay. It's, it has essentially become an alligator refuge. Those applications for hunting tags start coming in Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. The deadline is February 8th. The hunting season here set to take place the first two weekends in May. At the Reservoir, Scott Sibbins, 16 WAPT News.